What is up guys and we are back with another video and in this video we're gonna be showing love to everyone's favorite support in the game Bennett but this time we're gonna give him the main DPS treatment and with the introduction of the new 5 star mist splitter we're gonna see how strong we can make main DPS Bennett. So without further ado let's go ahead and get started. As you guys can tell he has 2k attack he has 61% crit rate as well as 140% crit damage. Most people that run Bennett run him as a support and have 4 piece no bless. But since we're running him as a main DPS, we're going to be running 4 piece Crimson Witch. And then my off piece is just a crit rate circlet. And then here are my Bennett's talents at 1, 9, and 10. Again, we don't really care about Bennett's auto attacks because most of his damage is actually going to be coming from his E ability as well as his burst. In terms of team comms, main DPS Bennett's partner in crime is going to be Chung Yun. And you guys will see later why this duo right here is going to just do so much damage. And then a third spot on your team can be any Anemo character, it can be Venti, Sucrose, Kazua, whoever you want. You basically just want to get that 4 piece of iridescent shred effect. Now the last spot on the team was kind of hard to fill, because if you look at all the pyro characters in the game, honestly aside from Bennett and I guess Shin Yen, none of them have any support capabilities. Like if we go through the list, the second best bet is going to be Shangling, but since we're running a main DPS Bennett, we don't want Shangling doing all the damage and doing all the melts, because that's what we want Bennett to do, hence we really can't run Shangling. And then similar story with Klee, she has to be on the field, she's another main DPS. Hu Tao, kind of a similar story, she can be run as a sub DPS, but again, it's just another DPS. Yanfei, same thing, Diluc, same thing. And then, yeah, we don't talk about Amber, but Amber's there as well. So really, aside from Bennett, the only other character that kind of provides support is Shin Yan. And Shin Yan's support for Bennett is not really that good either. Really, the only support Shin Yan is providing to my Bennett is a shield. Because aside from that, Shin Yan is more focused on boosting physical damage than pyro damage. So it's kind of funny that Bennett's the only pyro character that can support other pyro characters. But yeah, for our case, we're just going to run Shin Yan. Honestly, we're not going to use her that much. Really, the main combo is just going to be Chang Yun Bennett and then Kazuo for the swirl. And again, this can be any Anemo character you want. And then the last piece of this puzzle is going to be that Mist Splitter because this weapon is just absolutely crazy. And it's super good with the Chang Yun Bennett combo. And the reason why Mist Splitter is so good for the Bennett Chang Yun combo is A, because Chong Yun gives Bennett cryo infusion. And why that works really well is because we don't care about Bennett's auto attacks. They're just going to do cryo damage. And then as soon as we apply Cryo with Bennett's auto attacks, he's going to get a 16% elemental damage bonus. And then you just use his E ability, which is going to melt and just do crazy amount of damage. And the second reason why Mist Splitter is so good is because it gives the highest base attack in the game for a sword at 674, meaning Bennett's going to be getting the most out of his burst. And on top of that, it's giving us additional crit damage. And Bennett has really good burst uptime because he gets Ascension Energy Recharge meaning he can easily cast his burst and get the other two stacks. So the very first thing we're going to look at is how much damage Bennett's E does with no stacks on the Mist Splitter. So we're basically just going to apply Cryo on this guy and then use our E ability. So 23k with zero stacks on Mist Splitter. Now let's go ahead and apply the first stack of Mist Splitter, which we're going to get by infusing Bennett's auto attacks with Cryo. And this is why the Chongyun combo is so good. You apply Cryo with his auto attacks, then he uses E ability. That time we didn't crit, but let's try again. Apply Cryo, E ability. So 26k with our E ability with the Mist Splitter with one stack. Okay, so now this is where I run into a slight problem that you guys probably won't suffer with. And the reason for that is because I have C6 Bennett. And the reason why this is such a huge problem is because Bennett's auto attacks get infused by Pyro. And because they're infused by Pyro, I can no longer use Chong Yun's E ability to apply Cryo and then use my E ability. And that's why if you're going a main DPS Bennett, or honestly, if you're going any Bennett build, try to stay away from C6. Just if you have the constellation, don't activate it. Don't be stupid like me and activate this constellation because it's just going to hurt you in the long run. But let's go ahead and try to see if we can get all three stacks of the Mist Splitter and do a melt. Apply Cryo. So 43k and that was with only two stacks. And we were hitting upwards of 40k with just our E ability. Uh, which is pretty crazy, especially considering when you're inside your burst and you use your E ability its cooldown is only 2 seconds. Meaning if you're able to trigger melts every 2 seconds, you're doing 40k damage every 2 seconds, which is insane. And so far, we've only looked at it by using Bennett and Chang Yun. We haven't even tried to include our Anemo Shred. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So let's see how much we can do with Kazuha Swirl. Well, we did 46k non-crit, which is insane. And we're accidentally killing all these guys, so now we gotta go ahead and find another one. Okay, so now we're here at test subject number 3. Again, let's try to see how much we can do with Melt with Kazuha Swirl. And then... Not crit again, you know. You guys know the drill. Not critting always. And again, we just have to do some auto attacks, and then we can 
hit them with our E ability and just not crit again. What's our crit rate? But the sad fact is we have 61% crit rate and can't crit. This is the tragic life of Genshin Impact. Again, it's so easy to do, but somehow we just can't crit. Oh my, okay, well, I, I don't even know what to say. Not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven. Oh. Eventually we're gonna get it, right? Uh, it's about damn time. It's about damn time. There we go, 38K with Kazuha Swirl. That's pretty insane. And so far we've been testing it without using the burst too much. And you guys can tell my attack is 1999 and my pyro damage bonage, dam damage bonage, what? And our pyro damage bonus is 85.6. So let's go ahead and see how high our pyro damage, bo pyro damage bonage. So let's go ahead and see how high our pyro damage bonus can get. So we can get to 3000 attack and then our pyro damage bonus goes almost up to 200%. And again, I do have the mist splitter at refinement five. If you guys have mist splitter at refinement one, instead of getting an 80% elemental damage bonus, you'll be getting a 40% elemental damage bonus. So if you have a refinement one mist splitter, your attack is gonna stay the same as mine, like around 3000 or whatever it is, but your pyro damage bonus is gonna be 40% less. So instead of 200%, it'll be 160%, which again, is still a lot of pyro damage bonus. Okay, so far so good. Testing against Ruin Guards, we were absolutely slapping them. Our E ability hitting upwards of 40k. But now comes a real test. Let's see how we perform inside the Abyss. And now this is where you guys are going to see the huge con of having a C6 Bennett. Because we're not going to be able to consistently melt. And that's because Bennett is mostly going to be doing Pyro application since his burst turns everything into Pyro. But yeah, I'll try to showcase why it's so bad as well. Let's go ahead and do this just to showcase you guys. So this is what I mean, like all our auto attacks are pyro. So even with Chang Yun's E ability, we're doing pyro auto attacks. So if we do manage to melt, we hit upwards of 53k. But the thing is, that's not going to happen as often because most of the time, if we have our burst up, we're not going to be able to trigger melt since it's mostly going to be pyro application. But for you guys, it's probably not going to be a problem. It's just a first world problem for whales. Okay, now that you guys saw the problem with C6 Bennett and why it just sucks having him, especially for a main DPS Bennett, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this without using my burst unless it's absolutely necessary and I need to heal. And the good thing about Bennett is he's both the healer, the DPS, and the support for your team. And there you guys go. That pretty much wraps it up for main DPS Bennett. Let me know what you guys think. But you guys saw the stats. You guys saw the numbers. You guys saw the potential in main DPS Bennett because of how much he can do. And I'm 99% sure you guys are way smarter than me and don't have C6 Bennett. So you guys are probably gonna do a lot better than me. And also because of Mist Splitter, it really opens up the potential of main DPS Bennett and how easy it is to use because you just use Chang Yun's E ability and just go to work. And the last spot, honestly, that's my question to you guys. What would you guys put in that last spot? I just put Shen Yan to get Pyro Resonance, but who would you guys put in? Or if you guys have another suggestion, let me know. But thank you guys for watching. That's pretty much it for me. And I'll see you guys next time.